I'm Scully, and she's the mole. And this is... Uh, oh, um, Scully? You have some glitter on your face. Right there. Here? No, it's on your cheek. The other side? Like here? Did I no, get it? No, no. <laughs> Sorry. This is Scully and the mole. Crack the case. We're back with part five of case number 548, The Glitter Bomber. The crime? Sending harassing letters in the mail full of exploding glitter to unsuspecting victims. The suspect? Nor the chef, Darius the barista, and Walker the manager. Workers of Cafe Wakey Wakey who all touched the same hump day hummus found on the letters. Horseradish! Horseradish! The victims? Piper the councilwoman, Lucas the foreign exchange student, Byron the inventor, Miranda the hairstylist, and now Walker the cafe manager. Bye. Unless he glitter bombed himself. Why would he do that? Eh, you're right. Our clues? We know the bomber buys their glitter at the Dirty Brush Art Store. But they buy it under a fake name. Most of our valuable customers go by pseudonyms. 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 Have a brush-tastic day. The glitter bomber sent us this weird cipher, or coded message, and we haven't been able to crack it yet. And we have the DNA of the glitter bomber, but we need to compare it to the DNA of the suspects. Let's, Let's go, go to, to the lab. lab. The lines on this graph are called alleles. Alleles are what makes up each person's DNA and makes them unique. Let's pull up Nora's DNA that we swabbed from her water bottle. Not a match. Mm. The alleles don't line up. Now, let's try Darius's DNA that we took from his lollipop. Partial match. Hmm, partial match? I think Darius is the glitter bomber. But Darius said he wasn't the glitter bomber, but knows who is. Yeah. Oh, let's put in Walker's DNA from his dirty tissue to rule him out. Yeah. Inconclusive. Inconclusive? This is not good. It's possible the DNA we grabbed wasn't enough. It's also possible that both Darius and Walker licked the envelopes. Let's call Darius to see what's up. Darius, we found your DNA on the Glitter Bomber's envelopes. Oh no, this is my worst nightmare. I don't know how my DNA got on those envelopes. If you know who the Glitter Bomber is, now would be a good time to fess up. I can't tell you, it's, it's too risky. We'll have to assume it's you unless you have an alibi. What if I help you collect evidence? Hmm, we're listening. I could wear a wire. Huh? What? It's a secret listening device. Ooh. Would you be willing to spend some time at the Dirty Brush Art Supply Store? You got it. Maybe Darius can help us figure out the fake names used by the glitter bomber at the Dirty Brush. Adical Mercy. Adical Mercy. Adical Mercy. What? <laughs> it's a gibberish that was on the bottom of the cipher. I can't get it out of my head. My brain's all scrambled. Oh, Darius is ready to go. Wow, that was fast. He's at the dirty brush wearing a microphone under his t-shirt. The sound is being transmitted straight to our headphones. Some CIA agents have been known to wiretap suspects for years. We don't have that kind of time. True. This is a really nice art store. Guys, I'm in. Can I help you, sir? That's the manager we talked to before on the phone. You cannot bring drinks into the store. We have a policy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Let me finish. I'm beginning to think this was a bad idea. Yeah. I'm looking to buy red and blue glitter. Huh. Sorry. We're sold out. One of our artists came in and bought it all last night. 
Do you happen to know the name of that customer? That is confidential. Oh. No can do. Huh. Why does everybody want to know the name of Mr. Wednesday? <gasps> Mr. Wednesday! The name of the glitter bomber. We got it! Mr. Wednesday. Yeah? Wednesdays are hump days. Uh-huh. Hump day hummus. <gasps> the glitter bomber's got to be Nora the chef. But her DNA wasn't a match. Not a match. Nobody's was. Walker isn't a glitter bomber because he's a victim, if Darius isn't a glitter bomber because he helped us collect DNA, then that leaves Nora. We're getting a call. It's from Nora. Can't you read minds? I think it's just a weird coincidence. Scully, Mole, I'm sorry to bother you. I just thought you'd want to see this. made of glitter. But whose is it? I bet you it's Mr. Wednesday's. But who is Mr. Wednesday? We'll find out the shocking conclusion to this mystery on the next episode of Scully and the Mole Crap Game.